Hey everybody, Mike here. Really excited to be with you guys to share this new product that I got. It's the Wayne Lux JL3 Laser Engraver. Now this thing is awesome. Um, I've already done some test pieces, so I'll walk you through everything, but there's just a couple of preliminary stuff, or preliminary things that I want to show you before we get started. So they sent us the user manual, how to operate the actual machine and software. That's where these two books come in. They also sent us all the hardware to get everything put together. Uh, and then the USB drive, you can see right there, that was sent with uh, the product, with the laser engraver, uh, to load on the computer. As you can see, I've got the software loaded on the computer already. So I've already preloaded this and I chose a design. I'm just gonna do the letter C in Old English. So, this is the test product that I did earlier. Uh, what we'll do now is I'll actually show you the laser itself as well with the software and show you how everything works. So here is the unit, the actual laser engraver. It came with the connection cable for the actual laser into your computer. It just connects with the standard USB drive and then the power cable. Now there is the actual laser in and of itself it's got this protective film over it to help with your eyes um, but they also sent us these green filtered glasses uh, to protect our eyes from the actual laser itself uh, overall this thing isn't that big it's real light and super compatible to get it up and moving anywhere you want to go so if you've got a project indoors or outside and like me I do a lot of woodworking so like I showed you earlier, I'm just making these little coasters. This was just a test subject with the raw wood. But they also sent us test paper that you can test the different settings on. So what we'll do next is I'll walk you through the actual software. And we'll get this thing going and I'll show you it in action. So here's the actual software. And if you can follow my mouse cursor here, um, you are able to open up your own file. Um, you can save any kind of work or um, design that you've done. You can enter just basic text, which is what I did here. I just entered the letter C. So if you wanted to do that, for instance, you can click on that, and then they've got a bunch of fonts preloaded. So you can pick from one of a hundred fonts. Um, and then what's really cool about this is I will show you this right here. We're going to line up another test piece here, and what I'm going to show you is how cool this is um, in terms of making sure that it's, it's error free. So I've got that old C on the program, and what the laser is doing right now is it's showing me the preview area of where I want my image to be. So you can see that my coaster is a little off center, so what I want to do is I just want to move the coaster so that it's centered on the laser and then once I'm comfortable with my positioning of my image I'll come back here there's the preview position that's what it's doing right now so I'll hit stop and then when I'm ready to start going I'll just click the start button so now that I've got my image preloaded I've got my preview area uh, loaded um, it does recommend that the laser is about uh, five millimeters above your engraving area. So they sent us this spacer block. And what you do is you just place it underneath the laser. And then it's got this knob over here on the side, which makes it easily adjustable. So whatever depth that you want to engrave your project on, you just want to set this on top of your project area and then space out the laser head in and of itself. So what I'm going to do now is I've got these final pieces, these coasters, these came out really nice. I put a nice beveled edge on it. So I'm going to position this onto our project.
So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the Bluetooth portion that connects to any Android or Apple or uh, Google Play type system. You can see right there my cursor so you can follow along. What I'm doing right now is I am connecting to the engraver. And you can see down there at the bottom it says successful connection. So now what I'll do is I'll select the image from my gallery that I've already downloaded. And what I'm going to do now is size this up. And you can see me using uh, just the crop feature within the uh, camera software. Um, and what we're going to end up doing next is going through all of the different settings. Now I have an Android, so again, I'm operating on an Android system, a Samsung Galaxy. So now what I'm going to do is go through the different camera settings or the different photo settings. So you can change the contrast um, and really highlight those black and whites. Um, there's a different setting for outline and obviously I'm not going to use this uh, for my project. But I'm just going through and showing you the different types of uh, settings that you can make on your photos. Uh, don't, don't forget that your photos with the engraver are obviously going to be black and white. The engraver cannot uh, engrave photographic, or uh, I'm sorry, color photographs. Um, but now what I'm doing is I'm just locking in my ratio uh, that I set on the cropped um, setting. Now you can see the material selection. There's cork wood, bamboo, chip, cloth, leather, and other settings. What I'm going to do is since I used black walnut, I'm going to create my own type of material setting here and just type in wood. I'm going to turn my laser power up to 100% and the engraving speed I'm going to leave around 50%. You can see I put it there at 51 and then you can sound or see down there at the bottom the number of repetitions. So I only want to do this once. We're going to leave it at one. I'm going to select the wood and then go to my next option, which is now I'm going to upload the actual image to the engraver now that I am connected via Bluetooth. And once we fast forward through this, it'll show you that it's scheduling the percentage of the upload to the actual engraver. So I apologize that this is um, a screen recording from my phone uh, and it's not in widescreen, um, but this was the best way that I could show you on your mobile device how to connect everything via Bluetooth. So another really, really cool setting that if, even if you don't have a computer to hook up to the engraver, you can just do everything from the comfortability of the palm of your hand. So uh, another really, really awesome feature of this engraver that I really enjoy. Um, that way you don't have to worry about transferring files from your phone to the computer. You can just do it straight from your cell phone. So you can see right now that I've got that all set up and what's going to happen now is it's going to start sending the uh, actual photo to the engraver and we're going to get it going. So here we are with our finished product. As you can see, real crisp lines, um, real distinctive pattern. It's a beautiful piece of art, really. Um, so I'll end up finishing this, put a nice stain and a nice sealer on it, like an epoxy or polyurethane. Um, but overall, super, super excited 
to uh, get this outside and start working on some some projects. So 10 out of 10 would highly recommend you should go out and get yours. Thanks everybody.